Hey guys, welcome back to Dino Cow Productions with Klaus. And if you're on Klaus's channel, welcome back to Klaus's channel. Why are you still there and not over here? Oh, and by the way, this is Klaus. He's over there, hitting hey. the sand. We're level. We're actually leveling a desert to try and build your castle. Are we yeah. really doing this? We are leveling it. Well, it's not. It's not even that much land that we have to level. So. Well, I was just thinking we could have it introduce a bit of terrain within the castle. So if we have okay. like these ups and downs, then we can build like maybe. Yeah, we can. We can do um uh, like a, a raised floor thing on here. So let's see. We need stairs. I was thinking we could use clay for something because I like the idea of using clay for something. Sure. Uh, so how big sure. do you want a perimeter? Or, well. You guys, this series is basically going to be us working in creative mode because uh, basically every time Dino gets an idea, he doesn't get enough materials or he basically loses interest halfway through and he never actually builds the actual damn thing. So we, we've decided that we're going to start a world and we're going to put all his ideas into a Minecraft world so you guys can enjoy it and maybe actually see how his brain works because we don't actually have a clue. Well, you see, there are these things called neurons, and they connect to each other through um, stuff. Yeah, let's let's see you explain this to a genetic student. <laughs> I I want to actually listen to how you're explaining this to a, to a biology-based subject student. Well, you see, neurons emit electrical pathways in in the nervous system of the human body. So when they do that and get the groove on and stuff, those neurons activate, um, yeah, words, fancy word insert here, but those neurons activate different receptors in the brain, which then re release chemicals like dopamine or endomorphines, which then influence mood or behavior. That's not all how the brain works, but anyway, that's Dino Cow, everybody. Hi guys. <laughs> Completely off topic. Okay, so actually, you only right. brought it up, so. Yeah. Okay, where are you? I'm um, over here. How Just turn big, around. How big do you want this area? I don't really know. We'll figure it out on the way there. What on earth are you building? Like a hallway. Uh. We have the basis for a hallway. Um, Dino, you do realize we haven't even established the outside perimeter, right? I thought you were out establishing some sort of outside perimeter, and I was just building. I've asked you stuff. three times already, how big do you want the perimeter? And you just went, meh. Well, I don't know how big I want I, I mean, well, let's I'm see. not sure. So the main gate I'm, is going to be like... I'm not sure about in America, yeah, so but in I'm, England... I'm saying it'll be 10. But it 10? Even. 10? Not... Not, no, the main gate area thing, like the giant arc. Do you want an archway or do you want a drawbridge? Can we have both? Yeah. Okay. But obviously with a drawbridge, you have to have a moat. Which, this will suffice. And if you want the archway, then we can, we have to build it. So it'll, it be, it'll have to be an odd number, so it'll be 9, so it matches with this hallway here. Okay. And then we'll have it over here like this. And I was thinking, actually, instead of a drawbridge, since there's like a river right here, we can just have an actual like bridge type thing See, leading to it. that's what I don't quite understand about people building castles in Minecraft. People build a castle and then leave it, but a castle has many, many components. The stables, the armory, the peasant quarters. Oh, I know, we're, we're definitely building all of those. Yeah, but if the door is right there and that's the hallway... Where on earth are you going to put the stables? This is just a main hallway and stuff to make it look all cool and we can have like windows. So this is just like a hallway, right? So we're going to have this here, this here. Then we're going to have some sort of fancy window thing with stairs and upside down stuff here. So we can have it like that. And then we'll have a um, thing set up here. Nope. That's... So we'll have that there. Then we'll place... The bam, bam. Okay. 
And then what we'll do now is we'll have stairs he no. Here. Are your columns gonna be too wide? Um the ones here the ones in the middle part will be, but the other ones are gonna be single. Okay. Glass did you edit the glass on your text the glass panes on your text pack as oh, well? Oh yeah, I've already edited that. that. So uh, I'm going to show off my uh, little texture pack to guys. So guys, uh, as you can see on the glass over here, I've done a bit of uh, editing on the edges of the glass so it's clear on the way through. I'm still learning the ways to see uh, how you can connect them all. You know how like in Optifine they connect the glass panes in the middle so you can only see the outside edge of them? So I want to do that, but I, can't, I haven't found a way to do it yet. And uh, yeah, I've also done my crafting. One sec, I'm gonna go into. Oops. Game mode S. And yeah, so if you look at my crafting window, quite a hefty, very, very. Oh, goodbye. Well, at least we built it out of blast resistant blocks. Uh, really? Clay is blast resistant? Pardon, Clay. Oh, okay. Well, yep, as you can see, I've uh, stuck to the steam log theme. There's a couple of cogs, and there's the actual steam log. Uh, I couldn't actually fit it all on there, so I had to be fancy with the O, so, yeah. Where is it? What? I don't see him. See what? What are you doing? I don't know, I just wanted to do that. Sigh. This is my server, and you're murdering me already. I didn't do anything, I just punched you once. Murder! Manslaughter! D did you die? W was a man slaughtered? I died a little on the inside. Um, I have feelings. Really? You're very good at not showing those. Ouch. If I had feelings, those would have hurt. See, you just, you just, uh, your, your previous statement is now invalid. Lies. Maybe. Hmm. I want to get rid of these. Okay, so you start building that, and uh, I will f f uh, do your perimeter. Okay. How big is that hallway, and what does that re really represent? Cause... Well, the hallway <coughs> with the wall will be um, nine blocks wide. No, I mean, like, because obviously with this, that is obviously a catacombs. Do you know what a catacombs is? That's underground and it has skeletons in it, and I hate skeletons. No, those are tombs, there. No, those are catacombs. Pretty sure they're not. There, yes, they are. Then what? They're what, what on they're earth? Under, what? Catacombs are underground burial places. That's not they're, right. They're in, Fran they're in France. That doesn't sound right. Look it up. Because catacombs is something you walk into. Like you, you walk outside and there's like a, there's um, there's a roofed area, but there's no glass and stuff. There's archways and you can see into gardens. Those are what we call catacombs. I'm going to get a dictionary. <laughs> Cause this needs to be solved. I I still don't think that's catacombs. What you're explaining, it okay, sounds like a burial search. ground. It's not. It's the underground um things in in France or whatever. No, it's it's France. Yeah, it's, I think it's in France. Either Paris or France, Paris. It's in. It's over in your your region of the world, but not in England. France, maybe. Probably. I mean, French people are known for having creepy stuff like that. They have a whole underground section that's got like loads of. Um, skulls and skulls. That is what I'm talking about. That is considered the catacombs that's in America. Not really catacombs. Yeah, it's that's what what that's what it is actually called. Is it? That is the name. Yeah. <laughs> ah, French people. What do they know about the English language? Not a lot because they're French. All right, I'm gonna. You know, you just lost your entire French-based subscribers, right? I don't have a French-based subscriber. Good point. I might. You might because you're in, you're in America. You might get some Canadian ones, but I do. I have a friend from Canada. Then you've lost him then because of me. 
Let's see, I'm gonna mark He's out... from the English part of Canada, though, so it's okay. Mm, Toronto? Is that it? Well, Quebec's the only, sp the only uh, French-speaking part of Canada. I thought there was other regions that spoke... that spoke... French. Uh, Quebec's the only one that has it, like... They actually have, like, votes to keep their language French or whatever, oh, so. okay. Oh, by the way, um, let's see. If you... If... I'm calling that the catacombs. I'm gonna call it the hallway with windows in it. I still don't think you should have windows, because how on earth are you gonna access stuff from the outside? Well, this is just the, the hallway part, so... Okay, so I'm gonna mark. There, there's gonna be pathways after this. There's gonna be like this hallway is gonna lead into like a central thing over here, and it's gonna have the hallway that's gonna lead out to like the stables on one side, and then the um. Then I definitely don't think be... it should be housed in. Cause think about it, there'll be horses passing through here. There'll be people moving livestock through here. It's gonna get rather distressful and dank. I'm just thinking about the aspects here. Sponge? Yeah, I'm using them out to mark out Markers. like... Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're not... Obviously, we're not going to be building with them. I was going to mark them out with stone bricks, but then I realized you're building with stone bricks. So, I'm going to mark out, mark it out with sponge. Okay. We can have a couple of watchtowers as well. Yeah, watchtowers will be good. We could always start expanding it over this side. <clears throat> I mean, some castles expand um, expand over a river, so they have like okay. a sewage system into the river. But obviously, you know, you don't really know your medieval history because you never really I, had I, a medieval hey, stage. Hey, well, yeah, we just skipped that because we're cool. No, because you, because American history wasn't written then. It started after uh, it started after Columbus, wasn't it? That's Good the first. Job. Are you mocking me? Some people say it was the Vikings, but the Vikings didn't write down their history in America because they never conquered that land. They pillaged. They pillaged, like, but it never. They pillaged conquered Alaska. It. Yeah, but they never they never wrote about it. There are well, signs. Well, it is that, Alaska. There are signs that Vikings have been there, but I don't think like they've recorded history about them. Because Vikings did tapestry, didn't they? Where? Might have. They they tapest. Why would they tapestry? No, they had um. Oh, I forgot what they had. They had some way of recording it. I think it might have been on shields. Okay. But I'm not quite sure see, on that one. What if we went back in time and gave them Crayola crowns? What would they write on then? I have no idea what a Crayola crown is. You don't know what Crayola? What? How do you not know what they're? They're like don't. the little crayons that you, the the crayons that you draw with, and the. Those are just called yeah. crayons here. Well, Crayola is the brand. Yes, we don't always it's... use Crayola. What do you use, use? Rose Art? They're obviously inferior. No, we use crayons there. They don't always have the brand on them. Like, I don't know. Like then how how is the company, uh, uh, whatever. Okay, do have your fun with no brand crowns, crayons, crayons. What how I don't, I don't think there's been a definitive answer to how they how he's pronounced it. Have you, have you TNT this area? No, why? There's just an area of smooth stone exposed over here. Yeah, that happens. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got an, uh, we have an armory, stables, towers, the main. Uh, shall we call it court of justice, or is it courtrooms? We can call it court of justice because that sounds cool. Uh, so that's where you pres where you go see the king, basically, and hmm, that area should be right at the back, obviously. Um, we have the troop quarters, the peasant quarters, the kitchens, the brazers, the hearth. Hmm, there's a lot. There's an inn, the whorehouse. 
We're not making one of those in my castle. Ruffle? No, I don't want a waffle. Ruffle? Oh, okay, sure. You heard it here, guys. Dino wants a brothel. <laughs> oh, you know, just... I thought you were saying raffle, like the thing. Like what thing? What on earth do you name there, brothel? There's an acronym that people... Some These stairs are changing on me and I don't like it. Looking at the size I'm building with now, I think we may need a couple more entrances. <laughs> That's fine, we can have some more. We can have a trade entrance. I mean, we can have a little market area. Okay. That'll be cool. We can use uh, villagers as little trades people and stuff. Where, where merchants with exotic spices come. And silk brought from over the seas. It's brought... Well, technically you could bring silk from not over the seas, but okay. Are you going to deny those to the peasants? Are you? Are you? Well, one, where are the seas? We have a river. Maybe it's a trade river. So they can move their stock from bigger ships onto the land. I have no idea okay. what I'm saying anymore. You you don't. No. I think you just got annoyed and just started saying random things. So like being American then. I'm practicing. You Yeah, you're doing pretty good. All I need to do now is have a rifle and shout America. I'm halfway that's, there. That's only... Actually, that's only the part you're going to. Oh, and bring... And don't... Um, Actually, ch cheese is good over in, in Wisconsin, so dairy products. Yeah, are probably you're saying be this to a person who's superior. slightly lactose intolerant. Only slightly, so slightly, you know. yeah. But that still doesn't change the fact that I'm, I'm yes, slightly lactose intolerant. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. So should I just continue this little the um arching part of it upwards, or should I make, like, details in the ceiling or something? Um, it's up to you. I'm I mean, thinking we you can go Sistine ceiling. Chapel on it, and nobody would give a damn. I I'm sure someone would care. What, about the Sistine Chapel? No, about the architecture I use in the ceiling. Someone, yeah. Not of anyone important. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, we use. Hmm, watch color. Okay, I've marked off the general area we're working with. And. Is that a spawner? No, I don't think so. Yellow. No. Hmm. Oh, I use stone slabs, because stone slabs are cool. Stone slabs. There we okay, go. so the court, uh, court of justice, is the biggest, most predominating feature of any castle. Yes. I thought it was the throne. No, the the court of justice is the biggest thing. The throne can't be the biggest thing. Are you I mean, sure? How far is your king? We could have a throne on top of a throne. What are we playing? Musical chairs with thrones? Yes. We can build a musical chairs room. You say no to a brothel and you say yes to a musical chairs room. Pretty much. <sighs> I may be having second thoughts about this. Uh, it was a joke, but okay. Okay, so that should be... Ooh, that's not a really good shape. Well, I'm gonna put redstone lanterns in the center of them, so. Mm, I guess we could work with that. Okay, so that's the area of the Court of Justice, I guess. Hmm. I don't know how the Court of Justice would work this way. Mister, where are we building this Court of Justice? It has to be right at the back, because it houses the king, so...
Why'd you say it's peaceful? So that way creepers wouldn't blow up our stuff again. Okay, we're over here. So you're just laying this out right now with the sponge, or? Yeah. Okay, that that could be pretty cool, and we could have the um. It, the problem is, I'm building this shape, How but about... I don't know where. Okay, I like the shape. I like the shape. Okay, so what we can do is we can have like a little entrance way. So say like two blocks diagonal, like this, way up there, and then we could have stairs coming, like sort of like an auditorium or whatever, where the um, seats go downwards. Uh, I don't think that's how the code of justice works. The... So that way you have a viewing. The king space. has to sit higher than you, because they are regarded higher, higher. We could have the seating start lower. Why would you have seating in a court of justice? That's what I, I want to know. know. A court of justice sounds entertaining. Have you never seen like a viewing of the king? Like you uh, have to stand at the back we, and wait we your turn first. to talk to him, and then you have to stand up. Okay, you can do that. Ugh. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, so the the arch and drawbridge you want to be the same size as that walkway, did you say? Or larger, but they have to be an odd number. Or larger. So that way, yeah, it can be larger. Like we could have like a sort of like a. It could be one block long longer on each side than that, but it, this side would be like the bridge um, gate or something like this. Not the gate, the railing. That's what it's called, a railing. So you have no like idea that. what a drawbridge is, do you? I said we should just build a regular bridge across the river into the swamp. I'm pretty sure you never said that. I, I can find it on the video. I bet people will find it on mine that you've never said that to me. You said, I, I asked you, do you want a drawbridge or do you want an arch? And you said, can we do both? Uh, do you want to use lighter wood so the, so the um, darker wood looks like it's soaked in water, I guess, when you get to the water. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So how do you want this bridge to go? Well, what I just built right here is the railing, so we can have the bridge. Do you want it to go um, into the swamp, or, or do you want to go into the desert, or do you want to... Well, it's coming from the desert, so we can have it go stri straight into the swamp, and we'll have it, um, like, yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, now I'll build these up. Are you not using a mouse again? Oh, I have a mouse. And I have it plugged in, I'm just not using it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, I don't have a mouse pad. I just have a desk. I don't really need a mouse pad. It I would mean, be nice in this case. It's, uh, the mouse pads were designed for, you know, when you had the roller. The, the roller ball. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It was to preserve that, but obviously most mice are, mice are lasers now, so... Well, all mice are lasers now. I don't know, some of them still run from tomcats in a house and get hit with frying pans occasionally. Frying pans? Have you ever seen Tom and Jerry? No, can't say I have. It's like the best cartoon ever. Then I definitely haven't seen it. You should you should find it on the internet. No, I I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see. Shall we, uh... So we've we told you guys what we're basically working on in this series and we don't really have a schedule for when we'll up, be uploading these once a week. Sound good? Um once or twice, depending on the if we're generous we'll do it twice. Is he sounding like a king already? You should get a king skin. Like have a crown and all that. Eh uh, maybe. So yeah, this is going to be Dino's little castle, and maybe in my off Wait. time I'll build a rivaling one. To... A rivaling? Oh, we could have enemy cast? That would be cool! Uh, do you, that would be cool. Do you want to lower that bridge slightly? Because um, it looks... Hmm. There's something well, about this, this is... How, long, how far does the swamp thing extend? Because if it goes into mountains, we can just have it go all the way over to the mountains. It could be like the Great Wall of China. Are you trying to be funny? I'm looking for mountains. I don't think they go until like quite far away. Still in swamp biome. Yeah, you're gonna be there for a while. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Ocean, dun -dun -dun -dun. more swamp. Okay, well, there's no mountains. Nope, Didn't no mountains. Would. Didn't think there would be. So we, we can lower it a bit. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe have like a gradual slope. So something okay, well, like that a would work. heavy heavy cargo can like get up there without much uh, difficulty. Okay. So Seems you, fun. um, this episode will be working on the bridge for Dino. So yeah, we're just planning. Then you want a bridge? I'm building a bridge. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, how about? Do you want it this to be like a modern castle, or do you want it to be a medieval castle? Because we can have like. Uh, modern twists on medieval things. How so? Like, uh, for the drawbridge here, we can have wooden struts uh, for heavy cargo, but at the same time, we can have like iron blocks as um, support and stuff like that. Yeah, we can do that. We can put them in between the um, things. So we use iron blocks, like right in between the. Right in between here. Sure. Actually, let's let's make them lower so we can actually have the. So it'll be one block lower than that. Oh, so you want them to be actually supporting the actual bridge? Well, you said for support and stuff, so yeah. it would make sense. Okay. And then once we get to the slope, we can just decrease them down a block. Sure. This is your castle, after all. You can share. No, I I'm gonna build my own. Okay. Which I'm going to come on tomorrow, and then it's going to be like, my castle's not going to be finished. And then he's going to have like a super castle that's like has a sphere in it. And. A sphere? Is that all you, you class you me as? You build spheres. Is that all you class me as? I feel insulted. Well, let's see. Um, what is What is class build? You build spheres. Sometimes you build frames for your spheres. I destroyed that already. Oh. Because uh, I didn't, I didn't quite like it. Because it, uh, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna build another frame somewhere else, though. Okay. But not for a sphere, before you ask. <laughs> Is it just gonna be a giant item frame? Might be. So, uh, do you wanna do it on no. one side to see like the elevation and stuff? Because um. Obviously, this uh, you're gonna have to build it up to this wooden block height. Yeah. Huh. I wonder. What are you wondering about, Klaus? Because uh, in the olden times, they would have used logs as uh, as crossing. So. Yeah, but this is our modern twist. Or we could. No, I mean like they have... they use logs over like. 
the beams and stuff, so they just like shaved massive um, the two ends off logs, right? And just used it as um, uh, as like crossing material. So essentially, well, it was just like a rectangle of pla- of wood. Well, I'd prefer to use planks for the bridge and not logs. Well, you you use it, and then I'll uh, I'll copy it on this end and see what you're doing. Okay. Because I have I actually have no idea what you're trying to build. I've just basically marked out a general area. I mean, this might be much much bigger because we've got a lot of stuff to do. We've got mm-hmm. like a tavern to do. We've got like um. We should make a to do list with signs. Do you want to do that? Uh yeah. So that way we don't get like distracted or something like that. Sure, we'll uh, we'll build it out here in the in the snow biome. I'm to clear some space. Okay. That's what you meant by clear some space. Hey, the TNT. It not... doesn't. It doesn't need to be that big. It can just be like a. TNT doesn't even. It do, it's not even gonna harm your thingy. So, you know, deal with it. <laughs> we'll have eight things on the to-do list at a time. Eight things. Yeah. At a time, and I then, thought, we can, then once we finish them, we can finish, we can just knock it off and put a new thing on there. Alright, I thought we were putting all of them on there, and then once we do it, then we can knock it off. Glowstone. Well, if we do that, it'll just take up space, so this is like a compact thing. Not that we're worried about space or anything, but... True. I mean, we're not even going to be building any redstone contraptions unless we're going to do an automated store or something like that. Right. Oh, by the way, the um, the item there. filter for the item sorter that you were talking about the other mm-hmm. day, I found, I found out how to do it. Awesome, cool. So, yeah, that was um, Klaus and I are working on an automatic brewing stand. Shh. It was requested in the comments. They're going to know it's coming. Is it? But it was requested on my channel. So, oh, Your channel? Yes. Oh, yeah, you class yourself as a redstoner. I just couldn't... Uh, I just class myself as a destruction maniac. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Bridge. Done. Okay, so there's bridge, um, second one. Hmm, what should we have for the second one? Main entry. I still don't, hmm, I don't know. I mean, are you looking for... I don't know. I don't know what you're on about. Um, hmm. Then we'll have stables. Markets in tavern stables. What's this? Blacksmith shop. Okay. Um. Let's Is, see what. Uh, well, that'll be slash armory with the black blacksmith. So. Isn't the armory supposed to be part of the barracks? I always thought it was part of the barracks because otherwise the soldiers run out and they don't have any weapons. And then we'll have blacks. Okay, so there's armory and barracks. Then there will be blacksmith shop. Yep, the blacksmith can handle. Uh, can be close to the stables. I mean, horses need re chewing, so. Yeah, and it'll be so the army barracks will be near the stables as well, so that way the soldiers will be able to get horses. Sure. You can put a mechanics in there as well. Just, you know, uh, <laughs> to repair the jeeps when they come in, obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I think we can knock one off, class. Yay! Progress. We did the to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now what do we add to it? Uh, Courts of Justice? Ooh, that's going to be a long one.
There we go. Wait, what are you adding? Slave quarters. <laughs> Our castle doesn't have slaves. We have minimum wage. In okay, okay, we can do that. It's a food place. Food place. Mess hall? Thing. Mess hall, yeah. We could have, like, the mess hall for everyone. So the soldiers rub elbows with the commoners. And obviously the kings get their, get their caviar from a silver platter. Okay, and should we have like a vault or something? Uh, why would you need one? To store all the gold? Ooh, towers, towers. Towers is kind of important, towers. Okay, so that's our entire list, and I already put towers. What are you putting, wait, what'd you do? What are you putting now? Catapults, okay. We could also build fancy stuff into a wall, like uh, arrow posts, uh, Okay, we can stations. do that. Okay, so first, let's start with the bridge. Okay. So you want to do smooth stone half slabs, right? For the um, parts where it... I was thinking, yeah, we could have those like every other um, five or so. Like I don't want them. It, I don't want it to be like oak then slabs. I want it to be like uh, how many oak is this? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So every. What are you doing? Oh, you said you wanted slabs. Every six will have a row of slabs. Oh, okay. So that way it's not like. Because the entire thing being built out of slabs would look kind of bad, and this way it'll look like the strusses. Yeah, it's the strusses. Okay, this is what I get for working at an architecture firm. The strusses. The strusses. <laughs> but the um, it's a mixture of trusses and slabs. It's a new technology in Minecraft. In fact, um, pie crete. Pie crete. <laughs> What's that? It's paper concrete. Oh yeah, totally. It's frozen, uh, it's frozen water and concrete. Well, it's made out of paper mache. It works well enough. Just not for long battles. <laughs> Otherwise, well, you're pretty much screwed. Hmm. Mythbusters made a boat out of it. They made a boat out of it? Yeah. That's impressive. It, it was doing great until I think it hit the 40 minute mark. Did you count six? Did you say five? I said six. Oh. Which is why that's already there, so I've already got it. Uh I was thinking so going that way up we can in have like a gradual slope. I was thinking going up in like half slab increments. So you know like the the planks can have half slabs as well. Like here, this is probably a big step for wagons and stuff. Like, you know, this top step. Yeah. It's probably a too big a step for wagons. I mean, once it gets up to here, the cows probably, like, disintegrate from being pulled too much. You're adding it higher? So that way it's not a one block gap in between here and here. Um... See, no. because before it was one block and you would have to jump up, but now it's only a half slab increment. No, so no, I'm just, way. I'm just worried that like for, uh, for, is it recreational sakes? Basically, the wagon coming up here would have to get up this steeper slope, whereas the other bits would be a gradual slope. And I was, I was saying maybe lower this one to there. Oops, that there. there. Oops. There. Okay, that'll be fun. So we can have like the stone slabs. You know how some steps, like stone steps, have like a guard bit at the end? Yeah. So it guards from erosion? This is mm -hmm. basically the same thing. 
Look, lighting glitches. Yay. No more gli no, lighting glitches. <laughs> okay, so this will be... There we go. We're working as a team. Or paid labor Finally. as a team. Hey, I am not paying you. Then why the hell am I here? <laughs> <laughs> what? I was lied to. Sure. This was not in the brochure. I made a brochure. You did? This must be a really fancy server. <laughs> <laughs> Got like the brochure, brochure <laughs> yeah, plugin. Like, yeah, we send like, if you join, we send you a brochure in the mail. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the kingdom of Dino Cow, where you'll be whipped <laughs> and treated poorly. Hey, that's your kingdom. True. Oh, that's, be that's besides the point. <laughs> I treat people nicely and pay them minimum wage. <laughs> minimum wage. <laughs> it's strange because the minimum wage in America is slightly different, isn't it? Because waiters don't get pay get paid less than minimum wage, and then they well, have to survive on they tips. They count in tips or whatever. It's weird. I always found that weird because apparently the the thing I got advised to when I was going to America was you have to tip the waiter. And I'm like, we we rarely tip here. Even if the guy is really really good to us, then it's it's still very very rare. Well, that's because wait waiters aren't they more respected over in Europe? I doubt it. It, well, in, in Spanish countries, they are at least. They yeah, are from what Spanish I've countries. Like, like Spain. Maybe. I did this wrong. Wait, don't they speak Spanish in Mexico? Yeah, but Mexico. Yeah, that's different. That's like the American type of. It's sort of like America and Spain combined and made a Mexico. That sounds like a really, really petulant child. Sorta. Of. It's kind of annoying. Cause we can't go there cause there's like pretty much like a war inside it. With like the uh, drug cartels and everything. So. Then don't get on the wrong side of someone. Isn't that common knowledge? <laughs> if the guy has a gun, don't say anything. <laughs> but then again. Uh, well, I'm... even even they would just tell that you were from the United States or whatever, and then they tried to take you as hostage, because they think you'd be worth more. Yeah, and it's weird. You'd probably be worth more if you if they ground you up and made you into burgers. What is up with you and grounding people into burgers? Sorry, it's That's just a tradition the first here. Time <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just a tradition here. Then how did you get it? How did you get a visa if you say things like that? Because I control what I say around people that I shouldn't say stuff to. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I'm <laughs> really lucky. I had a friend go with me to the um, the visa place. Uh, right. I told you this before, didn't I? I have never uh, seen a place in England that has people with machine pistols. Oh yeah, you did tell me that. It was rather worrying sight, and then we got told, "Oh, it's all like American soil." So, and I was like, "Okay, that explains everything." <laughs> I'm laughing because it's funny. So, for the people who don't know. Uh, the American Embassy is considered American soil, so therefore they are allowed to carry guns and try to intimidate us. And what are, what are the the guards with the red shirts do it in your castle? They just stand there? Pretty much. And then they beat who, they beat up tourists, right? Do they ever do that? Only the American ones. Hilarious. Only American. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, because one of the videos they're just, oh, like the movies and stuff, they're just staring at them and trying to make fun of them, but they won't move, and then you, the next thing you see, they like just get punched in the face or something. As, so, as soon as the camera's turned off, the guy gets whacked in the <laughs> side of the head. <laughs> yeah. I can just imagine that happening. 
I, I would find it hilarious. So would most people. <laughs> I mean, just just having like one of those guys just stood stood there, and then as soon as the camera's turned off, you, all you hear is a <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy just cracked him with like the butt of his gun. Yep. Okay, there's that. Bam. What are you doing? Okay. There. Okay, let's see where this one is going. Man, this bridge is massive. Yeah. I mean, that's what this series is. We're building a bunch of gigantic stuff. Doesn't have to be gigantic. Wait a second. Did you... But you are... You're going against everything you've said so far. Because really. like everything, everything you do, you like supersize it. No, that's called classifying it. But this is your series. You were the one who suggested it. Did I? Yeah. Huh. Must have slipped my mind. You were like, "Hey, do you want to do a survival series?" And and then I said, "Sure, you can join the survival island series." And then you cheating. I, I spent time and effort in that series. I I, I edited it. I edited it. They baby did. Baby did. Do you want to try that again? No, <laughs> Do you want to try I that don't. again in case, uh, in nope. case your viewers think less of you? Well, why would they think less of me? They, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> I love how unsure you are at the end. <laughs> <laughs> they won't think of less of me, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so let's see. There's one, two, three, and four there. So then this part needs to go down one. Hmm. I, you know what? After we create this and we finish yeah. everything in maybe what six months or eight months time, I'm gonna okay. build a opposing castle and just like invade with snow golems and iron golems. <laughs> you can't get them to follow you yet. Oh, I'll find a way. <laughs> Leads for the win. Know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you put them on snow golems? I don't know. I'm mildly curious now. Don't worry, I'm working on it. You continue the bridge. Oh wait, no. Why did I get rid of my iron block? That could be useful too. So let's see, iron. Because so far I've noticed it doesn't work on villagers, zombies. Well, villagers and hostile mobs it doesn't work on. Yeah, the villagers, you still have to go back to the original way of uh, moving them around with minecarts. Minecarts? Yeah. Okay, snow golem version 1. Testing, and it works on snow golems. Does it? Move him. Yeah. Oh. Pull him. Hey! <laughs> that is... See? I'm going to invade my army with a hundred snow golems leashed to me. And iron golem. I can just imagine the iron golem snapping the lead and just going, screw you, and they're beating the crap out of you. I, I, I don't know why, but I think I should use leads to troll John in the next Drawing with John episode. And it works on my Hey! Golem. My army is complete! <laughs> I can't believe that's actually possible. I am so doing that. I am retrieving my iron golems. Oh, no, 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 no. You're killing the snow golem. Aww. <laughs> You know how like one uh, one person has uh, every person has their like favorite block or favorite entity in the game. Mine's like snow golems. Yours is a snow golem. Yeah. Because they produce blocks. Yeah, it's basically like the. Well, infinite. then again, sort of spiders, but spiders are angry. Yeah, but spiders create wool blocks. They're not. Nah, they take loads of stuff to do. <clears throat> Wait, sure. what? What? Oh, I thought I placed a block on top of the water. I was like, what? But then what? I realized I placed it onto the log next to it. Uh, and it looked like it was on top of the water from where I was. Okay, so I'm going to uh, lower some stuff. Wait, what is... 
Actually, have you come up with a name for your kingdom yet? Hmm. Kingdom of fossil fuels? Now turned into fossil fuels? I'm curious what you're going to name your kingdom. There, I added it to the to-do list. <laughs> what, to come up with a name for your kingdom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you ponder over that because it is your kingdom, so... Watch, you're going to say that, and then you're going to build something really cool and not want to relinquish it. <laughs> I'm not going to take over something that looks like this. Hmm. What? Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Well, the drawbridge looks kind of... It's, it's I'm Ill, working on it. It's ill-proportioned to the rest of the kingdom. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, the the first thing they're going to notice is the entryway. Plus, if it's long enough, your, your army will just get tired on the bridge and turn around. Well, I've already known... I've already seen a, a drawback of you building in the desert. What? I can't bring my snow golems. <laughs> <laughs> Victory is mine. Oh, that's why the snow golem died. Yeah, it can't survive in uh, in desert biomes. In your face, Klaus. You do realize I, I'm I just didn't even build, plan for that. You, you do realize I'm just gonna build more of iron golems, right? And those are more destructive. Do they have desert golems yet? No. no. What about cacti golems? Those would be cool. Cacti golems. Star Roll would enjoy those. You keep making that joke. He he. Get the new first material. thing he did in this survival series was make a cactus farm. So the first thing you did was move to an island and call it survival series by turning it into a creative one. Yeah, I didn't even go into creative. What did I build in creative mode on that series, class? You got a sapling. That I should have gotten anyways. Lies. It was on the screen, it fell to the ground, and then it like fell through the ground or something. Lies. Nobody go watch that video. <laughs> <laughs> nobody nobody see the truth. <laughs> the truth. Like Americans do any of what that the? anyway. Oh, you blew stuff up. Yeah, I'm clearing some space. See, precision detonation only took out uh, three dirt blocks. Only three? Yeah. That's a waste of a detonation. No, clearing out the tree. Oh. I didn't want to cut it down, so I just blew it up. I thought you would have put it on fire. Nah, the fire spread mechanics in 1.6.1 is a bit weird. If this is actually 1.6.2. I keep thinking that's creepers. See? Look at all these saplings that you, and we got legitimately from destroying a tree. See? And now I'll just take one of these. Darn it, you stole them all. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that, then. <laughs> Maybe we can get Richard to get on here and he'll build something then get bored with it. Sure. You can build another spiral staircase. Yeah. Spiral staircase? He's good at doing spiral staircases. Sadly, that's probably the only thing he's good at. I'm gonna tell him- he's actually probably gonna watch this one. Cause I'm gonna tell him to. I watched his last one. I mean, apparently what, the, he's coming back. The recent- yeah, apparently. The, what, what did he call it? POV? FOV? I, I don't know. I have no idea what POV I got to the part where he's found a horse and then didn't tame it, and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> you just see dying up. Done. <laughs> nope. Froze up his arm. He's like, oh, I found a horse. I haven't seen horses before. I'm like, and he just walks by, and I'm like, what the? watch him not find another horse for that entire series. You're just cursing him now, aren't you? Just because he didn't tame that first one. Honestly, I think that would be funny. You're a bad person. Are you trying to ruin my name here? <laughs> no, not yet. 
I don't have a reason to yet. One second. Mute. Okay, sorry about that. Did you have to sneeze? Sure. He was doing things he shouldn't have been. There we go, that's the bridge pretty much done. Ooh. Need a, one more. Would you like me to build something on this bridge? Like what? Portcullis. What? Portcullis. You have no idea what one is, do you? Yeah, I know what it is. It's the the bri the the door opening thingy. Ugh. With pistons and fanciness. Oh, I'm not gonna open it with pistons. I'm not planning on using doing any redstone for you. Okay. I mean, we are working on the the automatic. Shut up. Things. I'm sorry. We're definitely not working on anything that's automatic. I am so gonna throttle you after we we finish recording. You didn't tell me not to say anything about it. First, you tried to disgrace my name by yeah, but most people type in lol and they don't they aren't really laughing. Yeah. And Dino Cow has, has just revealed to the world that he never knew that. I didn't know that. I just said meh. That would have been funny if, if you forget when you're invading my castle that you can't bring snow golems. You have an entire army of snow golems. You get past the bridge and then instantaneous death. Yeah, but then I have iron golems as well, so. Yeah. So how would one get past this? You don't. We're purely building this for aesthetic reasons. You do realize if we build this, then we have to build an arcway around it and all the way up to the castle, right? Not all the way to up to the castle. Or we, oh yeah, good point. You just build it up to the same height as the wall. So that's you know, the... You know what? Just tear that down. So... Why is there an iron golem there? I spawned it in, remember? Okay. With the lead and this. We're gonna take this down, and we're gonna end the episode here, because uh, we finished pretty much finished the gate. Ooh, can we knock it off the to-do list? Yeah, sure. Uh, one sec, we'll uh, both go wait, up wait, to the to-do list. Demolish this first. Yep, and uh, we'll we'll do up some uh, details on it after we finish. So we'll build the uh, the simple stuff, and then we'll build the technical stuff. Right. Oh, by the way, once you knock it off, you gotta you gotta put something else on there. So. Um. Okay. So we're bridge. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh wait, you extended it. Okay. There we go. Lighting system. For what exactly? For the bridge. For the bridge? I mean, it's going to be completely dark at night. Oh, okay. I thought you meant lighting system for, like, within the village and stuff. We Well, lighting system refers to in the castle, but once... So that'll be, like, a finishing... Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's see, what should we One put? One sec, I'm going to do some a bit of testing on this side. Okay, I got an idea. Kitchen. Oh. So are you having a massive kitchen or what? Well, I mean, the the massive part of the kitchen is going to be the mess hall, but then the kitchen is going to be like in the back of it. Okay. And who do you propose will be running that? Villagers. So you're just going to hire them or you're going to kidnap them or what? I'm going to sh I'm going to hold an emerald and they'll follow me. I doubt that's going to happen. That would actually be kind of cool if that was updated. That would like actually it would make sense. 
It might make have... sense, but nah. Nah. Okay. Did you stop recording? Not yet. I'm just doing some testing. Oh, I don't think I recorded the ending. Eh, you can. Because you can I stopped recording yourself. after I had to sneeze, and then I, I think I forgot to click the. Uh... I'll check later. It doesn't really matter that much. Oh dear for you. Because all we did was click off the thing, so I can just edit that back in later. Yep. All right, so thank you for joining us on this uh, little creative trip that we're doing, and we're building your castle. We haven't we haven't decided on a name yet. We haven't just that's we still have to do that on the to do list. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll have that like sometime tomorrow. Yeah, sure. We'll uh, just tell me the title, and we'll be able to put it on there. So thank you for joining us again. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye.